Hello there. It's episode three of our long play of Sweeker in One. I'm your host this evening or this morning or whenever. Uh, Woodhouse 204. And I'm joined once again by my good friend Austin. Say hi, Austin. Hi, uh, I'm Austin, and I am also here this morning, evening, or what have you. Uh, I'm I'm excited to get back into this. Whenever I'm doing one of these intros, I keep thinking about like the uh, the whole like Truman Show. Uh, you know, uh, if I don't see you again, uh, good evening, good night, and you know that that bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I always I always wonder about like the good way to intro, and I I always get it wrong. But hey, here we are. Yeah. So we have uh, a quick recap. We are returning to Rockland, uh, still a good name, to rescue Varkus and Sidonia from uh, the evil guy Grady. I think the guy's name was. Yeah, I think that, that was what it was. Because um, we we joined the Liberation Army, and you know we did a bad thing by defeating. Uh, Varkas and Sidonia and handing them over to the bad guys uh, mm -hmm. and apparently they're strung up and what was it what was it they said they were drying up <laughs> they were left <laughs> yeah, to dry yeah, up they were, like, they were like left bad to fruit. dry up and we have to stop them because yeah and and sure enough this place does look like it doesn't get a whole lot of humidity <laughs> Yeah, I think you're right there. So let, let's introduce ourselves. Uh, let's see if we can get into that back room where we, we saw some bad things going down. Who are you? You've no business here. Get out, or you'll be strung up like those bandits there. <laughs> oh, they really are strung up. Okay. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, uh, don't mind me. I'll just, <laughs> I'll walk just go through right you. through you. Yeah. Security's pretty tight. That one guy there that we could walk literally right through. Uh, it'll be tough sneaking past that guy. Yes, we've no chance of jumping the fence here that just seems to be as tall as we are. There's no mm -hmm. <laughs> Leave it to me. I'm used to things like this. Oh, Gremio, watch, on to, watch out for your wallet there. Yep. Oh. We just... Oh, oh. hang on. Help! Help! The Grady Mansion is on fire! 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 That'll do it! <laughs> he started a fire very quickly. Mm-hmm. Oh, he what? was ready. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he has the uh, the fire rune. Victor! What have you done? You didn't. You didn't. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Must be the dry weather. Yep, that's Victor talking like he comes from California. Yeah. Rip. Rip, indeed. My goodness. Young oh, master, don't you dare take after someone like this. <laughs> Can you understand now, by the way, why Victor is, like, my favorite character from this game? Oh, yeah, he just starts fires. <laughs> yeah, he just, he just does what needs to be done to get things yeah. going his way. I mean... Where, where did those people go? Are they inside or something? Like, I, see, I, think <laughs> I, I think I looked in the well before and it seemed like it was very... A deep well. A deep well. Conversation, Conversation pro prohibited. Do not speak that. to the well. Yeah, I... I hmm. Do not speak to or around the well. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Oh. Ah. Oh, okay. Oh, no talking to these guys. We're just straight into the action. So, how is Austin? Uh, Austin's since, since doing we good. Last, since we last recorded. It's been yeah, a while yeah. since we talked, so... Yeah, I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing great. Uh, good. I, um, since we last spoke, they, uh, they put out the, uh, the trailer for the Shining Force mobile game, and... They certainly did. Oh, boy! Oh, my gosh. I was, I was so, like, tenuous at first, but, and, you know, I... Even then, I probably still I don't see myself playing a lot of it, uh, just because I, I like my mobile phone's not that great, and then also uh, I'm so just have you like ever, have you ever heard I don't of like this thing in general? Have you ever oh, heard of um, uh, Android emulation? Oh yeah, yeah. I guess I could do that. I hadn't you, considered that. So I played a lot of uh, Fire Emblem Heroes because I I hate using like my device the to phone. play things yeah. unless I absolutely have to. I like being yeah. sat, you know, in my comfy chair in front of this computer 
so I just I just downloaded like a uh, an emulator for uh, Android mm. and just went. I just I, you know I just used my mouse, just did all the things you normally would be True. doing with your with your fingers, with with you know my mouse and keyboard, and it was a good time. Like I, I played yeah, a whole you know. bunch of that like that, and I, I can actually see myself doing the same again as well because you know I I would very much like to uh, do some capture. You know, mm -hmm. maybe yeah. maybe some video content, perhaps. I mean, heaven perhaps. forbid. Uh, yeah. uh, the, the Shining Force game, and you know, what easier way to do it than from my computer? So, I could definitely see myself doing it that way. I I woke up that day to see that the the trailer was being posted in a bunch of the Discord servers I'm in, and I was like. Uh, I, I was like, oh, okay, cool. I click on it. I see Simone talking, and then once it once it like starts showing exactly what the game's gonna look like, I was like, I, I was, it was like emotional because I was just like, yeah. was so excited, uh, just to see these characters again after so long, and no, I, I it agree. was. It was it was so good and uh, gosh, I'm just I, I think the art style looks great. It does a good job of like. Uh, capturing the essence of both of the uh, those original art styles for Shining Force 1 and 2. Yeah. And, like, even if I don't play the game at all, I'm just glad I got to see that in, in 2021, you know? Yeah, I... I Color me impressed. Like, they, they definitely spent some money on it. It was it was more than I was expecting. Mm -hmm. um, I, I also maybe went a little bit overboard with the, the whole Cleo... Rune. I don't know if you saw that. She yeah, just yeah, decimated those those guys and just yeah that. So mm. so the thing I I remember doing is that um, you will notice that the level two spell that we just used Firestorm is now gone from her. It's now gone. Spells. Yeah. So I think it is. It does work exactly the way that it does in D and D. You right. have spell slots, and once they're used up, they're used up until you do a long rest. Do a long. Yeah. So cool, uh, but at I the like time, that you don't see it, you don't see that too often in in video games. No, definitely uh, uh, unless unless you're playing something that's like directly based off of uh, uh, D and D subject matter. Yeah, um, but at the time I had no idea what D and D was, so mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, I, I probably wouldn't have either. So I uh, figured that. Um, once I used them, they were gone forever. Gone forever. So you just conserve them and never use yeah. magic. So I got into a situation. <laughs> I seem to have a, like a very vivid memory of playing against like a um, a boss character, and all my team was wiped out except oh, for no. the main character. And I used the 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 like you know my my rune, my soul mm -hmm. eater rune as like my last resort, my uh, my trump card, as it were. Um, yeah. To, to try and win the battle and um it worked for me it was like that clutch moment wow. you know that oh nice that you, you you know you, you think of like when when you think about things like that and it was just it was a good memory you know mm -hmm. and then of course i i had a long rest and went oh hang on it's back like you know it was, yeah. it was fine i was just like oh okay oh i see i've been handicapping myself all game well yeah because i mean like like we discussed like on the on the last video like the game doesn't really explain a whole bunch of stuff, especially right. the mechanics of the game itself. It doesn't explain. Yeah, they're they're like really. we included a manual and expect you to read it. <laughs> yeah. Well, unfortunately, like, you know what? I was just about oh. to say I don't have a manual. I definitely do have a manual back here, so I mm. I probably should be reading that. Um. Looks so like yeah. Dole didn't make it. Well, you know, it's fine, because all you do is you just, like, take this old medicine and you just, like, insert it into him and he's all oh, good again. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, and then you have, like, a certain stock for each item. Yeah. So there's, there's cool. like, some... It, it's kind of interesting where they took their, their, their cues from, mm -hmm. the, you know, the, the mechanics in, in, the, in the battles. Yeah. Because normally that wouldn't be the case. You wouldn't normally, right. like, just use a medicine and... They would be right as rain. You'd have to use like a phoenix down or some equivalent. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, rather than just using like a basic healing item. Yeah. Which I don't get me wrong, by the way, I'm all for that. 
the whole like mm -hmm. needing an item to then lead to another item use is just like it, it shouldn't be that way really right right where they you use a phoenix down now they've got one hp and now i need to use like two more high potions in order to get them back up to max yeah and then you're in the the awkward situation where like um you're in a boss battle and you're constantly just using constantly yeah, every turn <laughs> yeah because they keep getting hit by the same guy and keep going down again yeah Oh, yep, nice. that's a that's a pretty ooh counter. Uh, yeah, so, that's a pretty common issue with uh, with like Final Fantasies and stuff like that. Yeah, it's not one I'm particularly like fond of, but I mean, mm -hmm. it, I, I suppose at this point, like Final Fantasy doesn't play the same way it did when I enjoyed it, so um, right. it, it's kind of a moot point at the at this point. So. Yeah, it's yeah, it's pretty different. Um, I played I played fifteen, uh, and do you know? Do you know how far in 15 I got? How far? The tutorial. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> I I recommend it. I I it's like it's not Final Fantasy as you remember it, but I I still think it's pretty good. It's it, my 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 biggest gripe with it was that it was it was too short for how long we waited for it to come out. Uh, I I think that's fair. I mean, how long yeah. was it in development? Was it like 10 years something like that? Oh my gosh, at least. Uh you know, you see that first trailer for it, probably, gosh, I want to say back, It was it at the end of Kingdom Hearts 2? Uh, I'm not and sure. Cause I have, it I have it must played... have been around that time, though. You, yeah, so, I, I think you're right. Yeah, it was a tremendous amount of time. Uh, but I, I, overall, I, I, think I, I think I liked it. There were certain moments in the game that were just awesome. Like just really cool stuff that that you know, I, I've like heard they that. they really push. I've heard the, that the, the, uh, there's good stuff in it. It's just that I I I played it. Well, I, I say I played it. I got to the 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 intro, the the introduction mm -hmm. to the like game mechanics, and I just went. Right. You know what? This isn't this isn't what I want. I don't want an action RPG experience. Right. I want I want right. a turn based turn based action uh, turn based. Yeah. RPG experience. That, that's what I come to Final Fantasy for. That's so, fair. Yeah. So uh, we have uh, Sidonia here, who could be Goku in another life, and <laughs> Barkus. Um, I, I think these guys are good guys. So uh, it, do, do either of these guys take your fancy? I'll uh, uh, I'll take Varkus here. Okay. <clears throat> what's uh, what's going on? I can't see. My god! It's your Imperials! Why are you here? Have you come to laugh at me? Of course not. If we'd known what sort of fellow Grady was, we never would have helped him. A few things happened, and now we're wanted by the Imperials, just like you. We'll help you out. Uh, thanks. Uh, get my buddy too, will ya? Oh! Oh yeah, no joke, Goku. <laughs> yeah. Yeah! Not necessary. Sidonia! Why, you... If you've got tricks like that, why didn't you escape sooner? Ah, can't very well escape alone. Sidonia? You, uh... You just teleported. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you I feel like you definitely could escape alone. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, how how wide is that fence? Can he can he not go through the the, the thickness <laughs> he's like, of he's like, like ah, that? These ropes, I could I could squeeze right through these ropes that are binding me, but that fence. <laughs> ah, it's too big. Hey, let's get out of here. So. We didn't get any stick. Oh, they, they so, haven't joined us, yeah. No, uh, I, I've been given some instruction, by the way, that uh, whenever anyone joins the Entourage, they join the McDoll queue. Mm. Uh, simply because of how everyone just walks behind you, like directly yeah. behind you. Uh, yeah. Why do I get the feeling, by the way, we're heading some sort of trap? Yeah, this place was a little too easy. Oh, oh here he is. This is Grady. You, you dared to turn against the Emperor. Free the bandits and even, even set my house on fire. <laughs> You'll be sorry. So you want to fight? Don't think you're the only one with a grudge. 
Why, I'll cut out your eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's the rating on this game? Hang on. It's probably it's, like it's an eleven. It's a, it's a PG. eleven. Yeah. Wow. A... <laughs> I'll cut out your eyeballs. Okay then. This this game's going places. What? Oh, well. Uh... Yeah, I'd rather tear him to pieces. Um, please. Well, you see, you regret this. I'll tell Master Crazy about this. You'll get yours. Cleo, do you think the Empire will take us back? Mm -mm. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> mm, <laughs> we just great. threatened to cut a man's eyeballs out. I don't think anyone's taking us mm. back. It looks e bad on a CV. Yeah, e e young master. <laughs> ah, don't worry. There's all kinds of ways to make a living. <laughs> Victor would know. He's probably tried them all. You can, I don't know, make tea. Okay, they're not looking where the fire is, so... Yeah, that's Wait, interesting. Wait, those children weren't looking at the fire. What kind yeah. of children are they? They're like, oh, I'm just looking at all these rocks. Like, it look at this. Look at it. it. This one's really cool. <laughs> If a house was uh, on fire on my street, I would be staring at it. Oh, yeah, no question. Okay. I sure. guess we owe the Liberation Army our lives. Tell Lady Odessa that if she ever needs help, Varkas and Sidonia will be there in a flash. Well, we're off. Perhaps we'll meet again. That seemed easy. Yeah. It was, like, really easy. Sure, all right. Ah, sure is great to be done. Let's go back to Lennon camp. McDoll, why don't you spend a bit more time with the Liberation Army? Come on. Young Master, when we return to Lennon camp, let's decide what to do. At this rate... Nobody finishes their sentences, Austin. Yeah, they don't have enough room in the text box. Uh, what? You know what, that probably is a factor, isn't it? Because mm -hmm. most of the, like we were saying last time, that there is like some interesting uh, choices made with the translation. Yeah. And I wonder if some of that is to do with the uh, the fact that, uh, I think it's kanji that they normally use mm -hmm. for these games. And translating and you that, can, like- You can get a lot, of, a lot of stuff in on a text box. Like yeah. what would be like two sentences for us is like a paragraph and a half. So do we have a map? Do we get a map? I think we... I think we... Did we get one? I feel like we got one. I, I'm pushing all the buttons, but no map appears, mm. so... I wonder how easy it is to get lost in this place. The, uh... The, the main map seems kind of kind of wide open, as, uh, yeah. as games tended to be back then, so... I, I want to say, maybe it's in your key items? I don't know. Well, tell you what, let, let's go back out onto the, the main map and let... I, I don't did that. No? Did the... Oh, party item. Uh, it, no, it, no it, party item. Mm. Yeah. Okay, well... Alright. <laughs> no no major map then, okay. Uh, yeah, we don't need that. I'd say, how do we get back into the... Do we go back behind the I think we go back clock? behind the clock. Yeah. Okay, sure. I, I'm game. Hi. Hi, friend. Uh, don't mind us. Yeah, we're not buying anything. <laughs> okay, we're going to the clock. McDole, you're back. Wow. All right, I guess I owe you some money. Uh, <laughs> thank God, our problems are solved. That sounds I encouraging, assume. doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? Odessa, you're not planning to. Yes, I am. What? Uh, <laughs> what's, uh, what's going on? McDole, take a look at this. What is it? Show me. Grimio, I want to see. Yeah. Hey, what's all this? 
It's a contract. <laughs> Plans for a fire spear. Okay. Okay. Fire spear? Yes, Cleo, I'm, I'm the same mind as you. Is that what they call guns? I don't know, but the, the music changed. Hmm. Right. The Liberation Army may be tiny now, but someday we'll be big enough to meet the Imperials head on. When that day arrives, the Fire Spear will come in handy. We spent good money for this at the Dwarf Mines. McDole, this blueprint must reach our secret factory, but we can't leave this hideout unattended. For reasons. <laughs> I'd like you to take on this assignment. But if we go to the secret factory, it won't be a secret anymore. Enough! Don't you understand that we're members of the Imperial Army? Not anymore. How can you expect us to betray them? Let's go, young master. No need to stay here any longer. <laughs> Wait! Do you have any idea what the Empire is really doing? Do you know what the people want? Or will you pretend to ignore all that? Gremio, you saw with your own eyes. Heard with your own ears. Tasted with your own tongue. Are you willing to ignore the truth despite all you see and hear? And what about you, McDole? Give me a choice. Do you still want to return to the Empire and continue to be McDole's little boy? Oh. Ooh. See that? that so th like... is this one of the big ones or, or is, are they going to stop us? I, I kind of feel like that should be written differently. Yeah. Because it doesn't kind of, it kind of doesn't really give us a, a, an idea of what his intentions are with that. Yeah, I, I feel like it, it's pretty clear. Like since I'm a member of the Imperial Army, I should return home. But I don't know. Well, the game obviously wants us to say this, but I'm tempted to say yeah. this and see what happens. Yeah, I I like betraying. The, <laughs> I, I do enjoy betraying them any chance that they give me. There there right, are a few then. moments in Chrono Cross where you can do that, and and it ends up changing things quite a lot. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, another one. Uh, yeah. Well, let's do it then. Let's see what happens. Fine. I understand. I don't want to force my beliefs upon you. But. If you, if you should change your mind, please come back. Okay. Interesting. I guess, I guess we just leave. Come on, Victor. You're with us now. I guess. We'll show <laughs> you the ropes as part of the Imperial Army. So I feel like we're going to try to go back and still be in the same spot. And then, like, we'll eventually be forced to come back just to get the game to progress, but... I feel like that. We should see how that goes, though. We yeah, should we should at least, we should at least, you know, do a little bit of investigating. Oh, bonbons. Bonbons. Oh, um, so one of the things I really liked about this game is that um, you can have, like, multiple, like, actions happen at the same time. I've not really been doing it because I want to force, like, you know, uh, I want to make sure that enemies are killed so they can't fulfill their mm -hmm. own attacks, but if you do right. something like this... You can have everybody attacking different things all at the same time. Oh, right, right. Yeah, that's nice. That's a that's a good little quality of life thing that uh, yeah. I I don't think a lot of developers thought about back then, so that's pretty cool. Well, so you know the um, uh, Iyudin Chronicle? I think that's how you pronounce that. Yeah, that's that new Suikoden that they're... Not su <laughs> Suikoden, not Suikoden that they're coming out with. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's the the whole, like, uh, Konami will, really won't let us use that name, so we're gonna... This is a else. spiritual sequel. Yeah. Nice. Um, yeah, uh, so that features the same thing, and I was like, I was watching it, and I was like, you know what? There's no other game that really does that. Yeah, I, I, I can't think of any, and I've played a million JRPGs. Yeah. I'm sure there's something out there. Oh, okay, all right then. Imperial That's... Army, here we come. Or, or Liberation, Liberation Army, here Army. we come. Yeah. Yeah. 
McDole, I knew you'd return. <laughs> Will you help us? It's almost as if she knew we had no choice. Yeah, we're all sitting here reading the script. I thank guess. You. Sincerely, thank you so much. McDole, let me explain. This is the blueprint for a fire spear. Like I told you earlier, it has to be delivered to the Liberation Army secret factory. Northwest of Lennon Camp, across the river, lies Mount Tykewal. Wow, that is a name. Yes. Over it's very mountain, dangerous. Over the mountain is a village called Saraday. Someone from the factory will meet you there. Odessa, I just don't get it. Why do you insist on this guy? He may be an Imperial spy. Yet you want to give him the blueprint for something that could change the destiny of the Liberation Army? Don't worry. I'm going too. Oh goody, a hostage. What? If you're going, I'm going too then. Flick, if you come along, who's going to protect this place? It's about time you began acting like a leader. Aww. I don't wanna. Yeah. Don't worry, Flick. I'll protect Odessa. If you promise to protect this hideout, it's very important after all. Mm hmm. It's settled. To Mount Tiger Wolf, then. Hey! So Odessa joins the party! McDoll Q. There you yeah. go. I fulfilled, I fulfilled my promise. There we go. So that, that's another thing. I, so we've obviously been told to go northwest to Mount Tiger Wolf. I wonder if anyone will remind us where we're, where we're supposed to go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> First Hello! Time. Yes. In fact, this is the exact same thing he said before. So, we are looking for Saraday. But yeah, um, I haven't really been playing anything. I've been editing this and playing my usual. So if anyone hasn't watched uh, any of our stuff before, like I play a lot of Slay the Spire, which is kind of like a, a card game. Um, mm -hmm. And I do that yeah, to unwind. Yeah, I see you playing it in Discord. Yeah, I, I do it to unwind, even though like it's it's a quite a cerebral game where like mm -hmm. there's you know hooks uh, and cogs going into cogs and you know uh, mechanics oh, okay. going to mechanics and stuff like that. And so this is not. Yeah. Fun. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. I, I, I'm just. I was expecting there not to be that much uh, water in the way because. I'm, I'm in that point where I'm <laughs> it's like... It's a big no, river. If, if I go more north or more west, uh, like, how's that going to work? Mm -hmm. Ah, we'll probably just hug the hug the river until we find the bridge or whatever it is that they want us oh, to I got find. A, I got a pointed hat. Ooh. But yeah, I, I've I've been playing that as usual. Um, you can wear this. Yeah, I've never, uh, I've never played that one. Uh, I've seen Griftlands uh, and, and trailers for that, and that... It looks interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm just not much of a, of a card game type of person, uh, no. and so it, it, uh, I, I have a hard time getting into them. But I understand that they probably, have, they, they have like some, some roguish mechanics going on, uh, and yeah. so that, that's kind of interesting to me. Yeah, they definitely do. Um, but yeah, I was just gonna say, like, I've been playing that. Uh, have you been playing anything, sir? So, uh, I've been I've been doing a little bit of beta testing for uh, a a Shining Force Two mod uh, yep. by by our buddy Alex. Yep. Um, and I, I have uh, as well, by the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, how, I, how far along are you? Uh, he got me to do like the late game. Uh, oh, okay. Fight. Um, and I. So I, I had promised him that I, w I would do it for him, and I then forgot to do it, and then I forgot mm -hmm. to do it, and then I forgot to do it. And so <laughs> oh, okay. um, it got to like 11 o'clock at night one night, and I was just like, I'm not feeling tired. Let let's take a quick look at this. So I opened it up, and like it was an hour-long fight, and I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. goody, I should be in bed by now. But, you know, it, <laughs> yeah. um, it yeah. was an interesting fight. I like I liked what he had done. Yeah, I uh, I am at... I'm at the the harpy pool, uh, so I've played from the start to the harpy pool. Oh really? Um, wow. Okay. 
Yeah, and uh, it's it's been pretty good so far. Uh, he's he's done some some pretty interesting things, hmm. and uh, I'm I'm excited for uh, for folks to be able to check it out. Uh, there there are a few things where I'm kind of like, this is this is a little. Some characters feel a little underpowered, and like once they feel underpowered, they cannot catch up yeah. because like like they just can't hit anything after a certain while and if you can't hit anything especially when you don't have magic the, the, you you're just gone and you don't, you, yeah, yeah. It, it makes you like appreciate the fact that you know he's obviously done a lot of work because um if you if you haven't seen any of this stuff like we covered uh the last mod for shine force 2 that alex did uh that is on my channel if you want to have a look at that and it's pretty well balanced as far as mm -hmm. mods go. Yeah. Like the, the, there are a couple of things that are overpowered and a couple of things that are underpowered, and we discussed that. But for the most part, it's it's pretty well done. And yeah. This isn't quite there yet because we're obviously in, in testing, but it makes yeah, you appreciate the, the work he does. He does put into it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. It's it's good stuff. I uh, I I was like I for like the first three or four battles, I was like, God, this is this is too easy. I'm just like flying through it and like man I'm already level 5 by the end of the first battle what's going on and then in the fourth battle I just send him a message and I'm like hey uh you're a demon no nope. uh, this is this is evil it's not right yeah yeah he's like that <laughs> I was like I was like dear beep, <laughs> beep <laughs> you strong letter to follow <laughs> uh ugh. Sun's beginning to set. You think we can cross the mountains before dark? I don't want to spend the night out in the open. In any case, we have to go up. Let's go. So here's a question I, I've often thought about uh, in games like this. Who do you think leaves these chests just lying around? Yeah, it's, uh... I, I couldn't tell you. It's just... Maybe it's people who who are like, oh, the the been carrying our belongings for so long. Uh, <laughs> just gotta put them down. We can't we can't make it. We're not gonna be able to make it past this mountain by while carrying this uh, chest full of potions. Maybe somebody else will enjoy this. Oh, uh, there's one thing. Uh, I I don't know if you ever saw it in Trails in the Sky. Uh, that if you checked a chest after you had opened it, every oh, single yeah, chest yeah, yeah. in the game has a unique, uh, unique way of telling you that the chest is empty. Oh, they're all I'm unique. Just, every single one is completely unique, and really? I'm just like, man, that that you could tell the localization team. That's some love right there. Yeah, they they're very funny them. too. It's, it's it's like there's nothing in this chest except for a spider. <laughs> I accidentally bumped into my desk and knocked my camera over. <laughs> really? I hadn't noticed. <laughs> yeah. No, there's, there's some good stuff in that game. Like the, I, I, I'm not a massive fan of the, the art style in that game or that series of games, but yeah. if the writing continues to be that good, it doesn't matter. I yeah. can, I can and... use my, my theater of the mind to get past that stuff yeah. and just enjoy the the well-worked story for what it is because that that pulled me through the whole experience oh like, yeah yeah and it's a it's a bit of a slow burn but but once it gets going it's like yeah this is this is good uh and the like we just played through we, we just finished playing through trails in the sky second chapter a few months ago over on our channel and uh it's it's good stuff yeah. I'm I'm I am definitely a fan. And then uh, I've I've played the more recent uh, Cold Steel games as well. I, the writing it it fluctuates. Sometimes it's sometimes it's really good. Sometimes it's like eh, okay. Uh, but the world building stays good throughout the entire thing, and that's like my number one thing. Like if if you can show me a world where the Actions of the characters have like a a real effect on like the politics and and all that sort of stuff. I don't think there's any JRPG I've ever played that handles politics better than the Trails games. 
Hmm. I would have to say that... Uh, so, have you ever played the um, Final Fantasy Tactics games? No, but I do hear that the politics are really good in, in that series as well, so uh, just, just I, a, I should give it a go. Just from the standpoint of, like, your actions actually have choices. Um, mm -hmm. So, on the PSP, the, uh, there is Final Fantasy Tactics, Let Us Cling Together. And oh, the has, like, o Ogre Tactics! Yeah. It's 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 like the the spiritual prequel before that same guy was hired to do yeah. uh, Final Fantasy. Yeah, o uh, Tactics Ogre, let us cling together is is a very good game. Oh, and so you got... you've played that one? I played that one. Uh, okay. I always try to get into the first Final Fantasy Tactics, and the way that the maps are designed, I I absolutely can't stand. I'm like I'm like twisting the camera around trying to see behind <laughs> buildings and stuff. Yeah. And it it drives me crazy. I totally get that. Um, I so the the first uh, Final Fantasy Tactics game I played was on the Game Boy Advance, I think. And oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I played the a good one deal where one. if you get far enough, you can play as Cloud. Oh really? Uh, yeah. yeah, there's like a story in it, and it's it. There's not a massive story because you you go like, uh, you can go like. I think you get like isekai into Final Fantasy Tactics world. Yeah, and and, and you go like ten or so battles between story beats. And I'm just like, <laughs> it's kind of yeah, hard. That's it, it rough. doesn't really keep me going, you know, because yeah. I I love me a good story, <clears throat> and it's hard to keep going when the story beats are that far apart. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's but, probably what what had me stop as well. Because I feel like I got I got a small ways into that game, um, but yeah, it, it I, I I definitely didn't complete it. So the if I understand it correctly, the there is another Game Boy Advance uh, Final Fantasy Tactics game. I think it's called A Two. Mm. And um, oh, he looks Ooh. trustworthy. <laughs> uh, I'll take this guy. Sure. Okay. Welcome, travelers. Coming up at such a late hour, you've really got guts. But you'd better stop here and continue tomorrow. I like how that's an order rather than a suggestion. <laughs> it's dangerous around here. What with all the bandits and all. You would know. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you spend the night here in this ha in my house? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, we're in a hurry. Great idea. Ah, oh, my feet are killing me. <laughs> <laughs> Doing his own thing as usual. For once, I'm in agreement with you. I'm not sure I can go on. Ooh. 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 I, I, I'm always like, what option do I think would be more interesting? And right now, I think staying behind would be more interesting. Me too. And I, so, as I understand it, there there are choices you can make that can mean that you um, get con like that character to join you later on or not. Yeah. And I wonder yeah. if this is one of those. One of his little requirements. Yeah. So I think we should stay. Yeah. Ah, that's it then. Say, old man, you have any tea? He looks about the same age as Victor, but hey, he's an old man, yeah. apparently. Of course, sir. Come this way. Oh, maybe that's a mustache and not a smile. Yeah? I'd have to see it again. I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah. Oh, well. Odessa, I guess we have no choice but to spend the night here. Uh, to tell you the truth, my feet are killing me, too. Do you get the impression that Odessa just goes with the flow? She's not really very forceful. Yeah. She's just not, like, oh. not what you would think. Not what you would think. Uh, like a leader. the leader of a of a rebel army would need, but you know. Yeah. If she's outvoted, maybe maybe that's part of the idea as well. She's like, well, she uh, sees where it's going. Yeah. I'm, she's she's a uh, a little more democratic. She's like this. That's I'm fighting against this empire, and so you know. Ah. Uh, I think. Yeah, that I, is, can't, I can't. I maybe think that is a smash. smash. No, yeah, because otherwise it would come out the other a, end, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. It would come out the other end, and then it probably wouldn't. Would also be the same color as his hair. Yeah. Excuse me. Why don't you have some of this before supper? 
by the way, on the the whole like same color thing, I definitely have issues with that. Uh, well, so every, you know, every, I'm getting there too. <laughs> since I've grown this, I've like so I've had like receding hair for a long time, and I don't care what happens. This this can go as gray as I want. This, that, since yeah. I've grown it, I'm like, oh no, I have gray hairs. I must oh, remove no. these blemishes from my body. I care what? about this. I don't care about this. So, so my my hair grows in where it's uh, it's my facial hair grows in like half blonde, and so gray hairs can pop out and and they're they're like hidden amongst the blonde ones. Ah, <laughs> like okay. it it'll it'll all look that way no matter what. So. Uh, so but th yeah, this is my natural hair. Sorry, we're digressing, but this is my natural <laughs> hair color. It's very dark. It's like it's it's mm -hmm. almost black, but I'm not. I don't have any Asian like descendancy or mm -hmm. anything. But um, so when they when they're gray, they're just white, and they just stand yeah. out like I've just put chalk in my beard or something like that. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. So they have yeah. to be removed. Yep. But anyway, let, let's get back to the game before anyone switches <laughs> off. It's. It's special tea from Mount Tiger Wolf. Yes, nothing suspicious here. Just special it's tea. It's special Tiger Wolf tea. Mm hmm. Sleepy time tea. Well, let's give it a taste. Well done, Victor. Don't suspect a thing. Yeah. Ugh, it's pretty bitter. Makes you think what's in it. Very bitter. Here's some for you, too. <laughs> what do you think? You'd be rude. Uh, I, I, I know I'm suspicious. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Uh, uh, what, kind, uh, what kind of food do we think that McDowell is into? Is bitter food the, like... Oh, you're going with the roleplay like... option. I'm, yeah, I'm just, yeah. I'm just going along with whatever I think will get me the access to this character later on. Yeah, I suppose so. Uh, maybe just a taste then. Go on then. Okay. Here you go. Be careful. It's very hot. Hmm. It smells kind of funny, doesn't it? My head's going places. <laughs> yeah. If it's bitter. <laughs> oh no. Say, old man, uh, what's this tea called? Poison. Yeah. <laughs> it's special Mount Tiger Wolf brew called Robber's Tea. Very good. Oh, why do they call it that? Oh, that's a weird novel. <laughs> <laughs> My god, this is... Hey... You, what have you given? Thump. You're getting all the good lines. I would that. I know. <laughs> Damn, such an old. <laughs> Young Mister. <laughs> oh God. So, are we going to wake up with? I thought we were. Oh, just look be at these in... special, uh, these yeah. special laydown icons. Yeah, yeah, these are good. <laughs> Everyone's asleep thanks to the drugged tea of Mount Tiger Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see here. Yeah, let, let's just bump into these people. Yeah, I'm bumping into yeah. you. That means I'm searching through your belongings. Wow. For a bunch of stragglers, these guys are loaded. Looks like we'll be living the good life for a while. Ah. I hey. like his baby eyes. Yeah, that's, that's weird, isn't it? He's got yeah. the, the whole like cross thing for a, for a chin yeah. dimple as well. Hey, Ledon, how have you been? Doing well for yourself, I see. Why, it's Boss Kessler. Welcome, welcome. As you can see, I just pulled a job. And a fine-looking woman in the bunch, too. Wait a minute. This here is... Ledon, what have you done, you fool? <laughs> what do you mean? Do you know who this is? Just some stupid traveler, I should think. 
Idiot! Even an ignoramus like you must have heard of Lady Odessa of the Liberation Army. Why, of course, boss. Even kids know who Lady Odessa is. You don't mean that this here is... Yes, I do. Hurry up and prepare an antidote. Uh, uh, let me see. Rabbit's tail, rose leaves, a uh, handful of sugar, I don't know. <laughs> Lead, and if anything happens to Lady Odessa, you can say goodbye to your head. Yeah! <laughs> Rose's tail, sugar leaf, a handful of rabbits. <laughs> uh, okay, that's like a good line. That's yeah. a good line. Forgive me, Lady Odessa. Without knowing it, I nearly committed my life's gravest error. If you like, I'll make Leaden here pay with his... Please, sir, spare my head! Uh, don't be ridiculous. I'll have to be more careful from now on. Maybe I do trust people too much, like Flick says. Yup. I have no way of apologizing, but please stay here for the night! Uh, I'll do what I can by way of hospitality. Uh, I wonder if no this more... was. I wonder if this was the proper choice. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I bet if we didn't stay here, we we might have missed out on all of this. Yeah. Uh, but no more poison, you hear? We still haven't gotten the. Uh, yeah, the we didn't get our. Uh, we didn't get our second level back. Zzz. Oh, I, I, I like the um, the Dragon capital. Ball Z. Yeah. Uh, capital Z there. <laughs> That's an odd line, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Victor's a very heavy sleeper. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give up serving poison tea. I've learned my lesson. Are you a member of the Liberation Army too? I see, so you're not. <laughs> Lady Odessa is a true heroine. She's serious about overthrowing the Empire. There are many who express discontent, but only she means to do something about it. I hate the Empire too, but I'm just a bandit. Lady Odessa is our hope for freedom. I feel like being a bandit is your hope for freedom. Oh, good morning, young master. You're up early, McDull. Hmm? <laughs> Bees! That's what we would always say every time there was like a question mark, question mark, question mark in trails. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, like whenever Estelle was like, like, huh? Yeah. Or just go, bees? That's what happens a lot to her, though. Yeah. Hey, Grimio. Why is Cleo in such a bad mood? Ah, uh, don't bother her, Victor. Cleo's always in a bad mood when she wakes up. I see everyone's here. Today we reach Serity. Where were we supposed to be? Of course we're all here. <laughs> yeah. Leaving already? I'll unlock the door. Hmm. Can we go back in and talk to him? Yeah, let's, uh... Oh, is he a shopkeep? Welcome! Oh, he's oh. just an innkeep. So, I wonder if we can actually you. Oh, we got it back. There we go. Once yeah, you walk there up, we go. you got it. Interesting. Okay. Oh, yeah, that is that is interesting that they didn't just put that trigger on her, that event trigger on her uh, before she woke up. That's. You'll also notice, by the way, that the Soul Eater doesn't have any spell spells. Yeah, no yet. spells. So, Probably I wonder. No, nothing yet. I think we have to get to a certain story point to unlock them. I can't remember yeah. what it is. That makes sense.
Uh oh. There, there weren't many like enemies that I remember from this game, but the rabbits with axes. Is Ra a oh, rabbit one. with an axe. Yeah. yeah. It kind of reminds me of the. Um, you ever seen the Secret Life of Pets? I I don't think I've seen that one. I've seen like a lot of kids' movies. I used to work in childcare, and so I just by dint of working for yeah, I... like three years in childcare, seen a lot of a lot of kids' movies, but I uh, haven't seen that one. So one of the characters in that, I think he's played by, uh, is it Kevin Kevin Smith? Uh... The the guy from uh, Jumanji. Kevin uh, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Kevin he, Smith is the uh, Kevin Smith is the uh, he's like a comic book writer and, and yeah uh, sorry stuff God like that. Yeah. completely the wrong person um, yeah so Kevin Hart uh, plays a rabbit uh, who is like cute as a as a button uh, mm -hmm. but his his character when he's not being like seen by people is this like crazy demented sort of rabbit <laughs> that wants to kill people oh okay <laughs> so that that's that's what reminds me when I see those yeah. guys. The cute little bunnies with their axes. With their axes that, that they smithed themselves at their rabbit forges. Or with their teeth, perhaps? Maybe. They could perhaps sharpen them on those, because they have sharp teeth. I don't know if you knew that about rabbits. Like, they have very oh, sharp yeah. teeth. Oh, yeah. Oh, hmm. yeah. Maybe they just picked them up off of uh, travelers that they killed. <laughs> Clone crystal. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder what can, that's all about. If only we had, like, you know, a, an item description about what each of these... Yeah, we do have an ah, item description. Ah, we do. So, uh, clone crystal. There it is. Clone, clone attack. attack. I wonder if it, like, lets you attack twice? Do we we'll have to use it in battle and see. Yeah? I don't know. Tell you what we'll do. We'll save it. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. We'll do the old, uh, do the old we'll save use state it trick and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Great. Here we are. Perfect. Uh, so I think Victor had it. Yeah, Victor's got it. It's not oh, usable. Can't item. use in combat. Hmm. And I Maybe it's a. Uh, it, so. The game doesn't really do classes, do does it? I like. I feel like sure. class is kind of implied by how much magic you have per level or what the character's weapon is. Yeah, maybe it's a crafting item. Could be. I don't know. We, we've not really come across a lot of that in this game, and obviously, it doesn't do a great job of explaining it itself. So. Right. Oh, I don't so know. is the sound messing up for you at all? No, that could just be from the screen sharing. Oh yeah. Okay. So well, if it, it's not, it, it's not, it's not the worst thing in the world. It just sounds like it's going at like seventy-five percent or so. Right. That does happen sometimes. Mhm. Mm uh, if anyone knows uh, in the comments, by the way, what the clone crystal is for, please, please let us know. So yeah. We we might. Well, be uh, I guess this is Sarity. <laughs> yeah. There's nowhere else we can go. Oh, we're supposed to be in a messenger from the secret factory at an inn in this town. Where could it be? What well, the inn? But let's look for, a, like a, a a place with the like the little bed symbol on it. I mean, yeah, it's usually what it it's is. a small town. We'll find it soon. Yeah. Oh, actually, uh, or not. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. a very small town. I don't think I was giving Odessa enough credit there. Yeah. Oh, I've lost oh. control. We must be here. This must be the inn. Let's rent some rooms and wait for the messenger. We don't have an inn. Get out of my house. <laughs> yeah. What? what? Customers? Goodness, it's been years. Rooms will cost you 50 bits each. <laughs> We heard stories of guys getting stuck on the the uh, the mountain pass and never reaching us. What's been going yeah. on? Those 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 damn rabbits won't let us leave. Yeah. No, the uh, what what's his name? Is it Leaden? What, yeah. Yeah, and then there's that guy. <laughs> yeah, that guy's just been like messing up this entire town. More Z's. More Z's. 
Oh, McDole, uh, can't you sleep? Oh, it's the romantic music. Yeah. Me neither. But the night breeze makes me feel better. Oh. Can I tell you something? I want the choice. Give me the choice. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Jeez. Oh, Face. Can I, be... I can't do it. I'm too much of a parody. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do it. I was always that way in like Mass Effect. I would Mass like Effect, I'd see I'd like, see the Renegade choice and I'm like, oh that looks so cool. I'm not this is my that. Renegade. This is my Renegade run, and then I give up on it like halfway through <laughs> yeah. because I'm like, I don't want to be mean to Tally. The, the, yeah, th those things are on YouTube. I can watch that instead. Yeah. I can't, I can't role play it. I'm I'm too much of a nice guy, I guess. Kessler of Mount Tiger Wolf. Flick, Humphrey, Sanchez. They all expect so much of me. But sometimes, I feel like running away. I'm not sure I'm worthy of their hopes. What do you plan to do? Will you return to the Empire? <laughs> it's I, another I one like... of those weird... <laughs> another one of those weird translations, I think. I don't understand. What are you asking me? <laughs> yeah, that... It's fairly clear-cut. We shouldn't really have an issue. I guess I don't understand, because I don't really want to yeah. go to the Empire. Yeah. Use your head. You have the ability to judge right from wrong. Your father's a great general of the Empire. Perhaps you'll be able to return to a peaceful life. But remember that you can't turn away from what you see and what you feel and what you hear. I'm very focused on these things. <laughs> because if you do... That's a sin. Oh, snap. When you see injustice, Austin, you have to do something about it. That's true. Inaction is... Uh, what Silence is violence. You're strange. The more you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel compassion when I'm with you. Even though I say bet next to nothing. Even though... <laughs> Uh, I, I suppose Victor brought you to us because he felt that special quality in you. Plus, I have this thing on my hand that, you know, makes me special. Yeah. I, I like that we haven't actually told her that. Yeah, that's true. There are many in the Liberation Army. Humphrey, Sanchez, Mose, and Flick. I don't remember Mose. No, I don't think we've met them yet. But nobody has eyes like yours. Eyes that draw people to you. Even Kessler with his very strangely childish eyes, yeah. despite his big, burly appearance. Many people. If I should ever... Who is it? Oh. Oh, wow. My name is Kaji. I have been sent by Sir Moe's, chief of the Secret Factory. Really, dude? We're still going to call it the Secret Factory? It doesn't have a name? Moe's certainly keeps unusual company. How is he? I received a letter from him mentioning that a, pig mentioning that a pigeon of his was sick. How'd you receive the letter? <laughs> oh, we got an email. It's all good. <laughs> yeah. I find it hard to imagine Moe's taking care of a sick pigeon. And then, you know, making it fly to me regardless. Very strange, lady. Samoz does not keep any pigeons. I'm sorry, I was just testing you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was a logic puzzle. You passed. <laughs> well done. I never betray a contract. This is the blueprint for the fire spear. Please deliver this. The future of the Liberation Arm, the Liberation Movement depends on it. Understood. I will go now. Bye. <laughs> it's getting late. McDole, we'd better rest. I guess that was it. Alrighty. You must be tired too. Go back to your bed. I'm sorry I kept you up with such strange stories. I... 
I could go to the other bed. Yeah, okay. this isn't I... my bed anymore. No. What do you mean our job is done? We finished our business last night, didn't we, McToll? Mm -mm -mm. Come to think of it, Young Master's bed was empty in the middle of the night. Young Master? <laughs> what were you up to? Something you can't tell me? Me? Gremio, your beloved servant? <laughs> <laughs> Come, let's get going, McDoll. Yes, don't explain. <laughs> uh, young Master! I'm not young anymore. I'm a <laughs> yeah, man. I'm a man now. I've delivered a letter to a ninja. You know, the, uh, the, the... <laughs> the old adage, yes. The old rite of passage. <laughs> Let's go, Grimio. All right, then. <laughs> I delivered a letter to a ninja. <laughs> I've never heard that one before. Is that what they're calling it these <laughs> days? Uh, let's see if there's... Say, I've never seen you around here. How are things down below? Living in a place like this, you lose track of what's going on in the world. Okay. I'm just searching around to see if there's any, like... Yeah. You know, although this seems like a... a random person. Hey, heard the hey, latest. Her Sorry, go on. Yeah, well, we can, uh, we can switch NPCs back and forth. You're right. You're right. Let's get some rules down. Hey, heard the latest? They say that Odessa, the leader of the Liberation Army, is a nine-foot giant. True. They do say that. Uh, let's check it's out. It's weird how there's, like, no music sometimes. Yeah, there's, like, background music. I don't know if you can hear that. It's just birds oh, is chirping. There? Yeah, I hear the bird chirping. It's just like, oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's strange how, like, Sometimes they're the, sometimes, especially when I, I've noticed it a few times, particularly when the game is like, "All right, you can play again now." Uh, like after a cutscene ends, and there's they're not really letting you know that the cutscene nope. is over. Everyone just sort of stands around a little bit. Yeah, there definitely has been some points like that. Rock Snail. I like this guy. Did you see when he did his attack? Uh, I, I'm i sure I did. I just, I didn't uh, make note of it. Uh, Dude, he, he stretches his neck. Like, he stays oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. but his neck just shoots out at somebody. It's amazing. That's pretty terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine being able to do that, like, with a real snail? Just, whoo. Ah, here we are, the rabbits again. Yeah. So, have you recognized any of the characters from when you were playing? I think Flick, and Flick, Flick, Flick sort of stood out to me, and you had mentioned that he was in in Suikoden Two. I've but seen But it has of it. it. It's been such a long time since I've played. Like, I remember what the main character looks like. He kind of has like this uh, uh, Sun Wukong sort of look to him. Yeah. Uh, and then. Uh, he, he has uh, Tonfa as weapons, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, he sure does. I, yeah, I was yeah. like, I, I, it, it was really cool because you don't see that too often. In, you don't, uh, no. Because they're, they're essentially just nightsticks. Yeah. Yeah, the the main character of uh, Trails from Zero also uses Tonfa. Oh, okay. Huh. Oh, a karate uniform. Oh, attained uniform. a karate uniform. <laughs> Great. That fits a <laughs> rabbit? I'm not sure we have any yeah. rabbits. It's going to be suitable for that, but let's have a look, I guess. Maybe McDole? No. That's weird. Ah, oh, there Cleo we go. Cleo can have it. Okay. And Cleo's like an archer mage? Yeah, but she wears armor, which mm -hmm. strikes me as a bit weird, if I'm being honest. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what the, what the different... I, I assume they... Uh, they uh, separate by weight class. I don't know. But... I, I think it could just be bespoke. I know that there uh. are like there are certain um, characters that you get later on that uh, they have classes because you get you get chefs and you oh. get blacksmiths 
Uh, and you get like, um... and, they and these are like jobs be... that they do independently of combat. Well, yes and no. They can be in combat too. There, there are certain mm -hmm. classes that don't, uh, that aren't combat uh, classes. Oh, okay. I think like the uh, like that lead on. Is it lead on guy? The the leaden leaden Leiden or whatever his name is. I don't. I don't think he can be a, a combat class character. Mm -hmm. I mean, you wouldn't really expect him to be. Yeah. Just like a, you know, a, a he just throws guy. throws poison at all of his enemies. Yeah, uh, I don't think he's gonna have any flavor text for us. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Oh well. Um, but yeah, um, there are there are classes that are both that have like mm -hmm. uses outside of combat as well as in. Uh, the blacksmiths are obviously one. Um, yeah. And they join you in your castle. Did you have a castle no. in the second game? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think that there's like a, a home base sort of thing. And then I think in the fourth, you had like a, a, a big, uh, it was like a big boat. Okay. So, it, I mean, you can think of it as like the um, the the part of the castle in Shining Force 2. Yeah, it's the headquarters. Where you see all the, the headquarters, yeah. It's, it's exactly that. Yeah. Go hang out with your buddies. Yeah. Listen to them say the same line over and over again, no matter where you are in the story. <laughs> I seem to remember that actually not being the case here, though. I think that they oh. did have changeable lines in this. That that's impressive, considering wrong. it's 108 characters. <laughs> I could be very wrong, though. That hmm. So, please, somebody say in the comments that John, you're incredibly wrong. I, I mean that. Or that's one I'm of the things right. that I actually. That's one of the things I actually really like about uh, Shining Force Three is that. Each new town you go into, if you go into the headquarters, your your uh, force will have different things to say based cool. on what you're doing in the plot. I mean, yeah, I, I, I was gonna make like some really snide remark there about like <laughs> about Shining Force Three, about but you Shining can't Force recognize 3. any of them because their sprites are so ugly. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. It's just like, oh, that's something nice about the game. And it's just like, no, I, I don't have anything I'm... else nice to say about it. Uh, I've got I so don't... many nice things to say about Shining Force 3. I've, I've really only got, like, a few bad things to say about it. So when... So previously we were talking about, like, you know, like, Shining Force 3 and some of the other videos that we've done. Mm -hmm. And uh, for those who don't know, Austin has been, like, a, 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 a viewer, a passenger, if you will. Yeah, um, yeah. And when, when you heard his, like you know, ripping into Shining Force 3 like we, we were doing. Did that make you angry? Did it make you cross? Not angry. Like, I can understand why people don't like the graphics. I I, I get it. Uh, I uh, More often than not, though, I was the person asking, hey, you guys gonna do Shining Force 3 anytime soon? Uh, uh, and, and so, uh, but yeah, yeah, no, I'm not, not angry. Uh, I, it's more just, just like a uh, <laughs> yeah disappointed. I I could definitely say because uh, I I I really do think you're missing out and and I think if you were able to divorce the fact that it's Shining Force from from your head and just think of it as like a different uh, strategy RPG that you'd you'd really enjoy it. So the thing, so I never had a Saturn. Okay, my, yeah. my friends had Saturns and I had a PlayStation. Mm -hmm. and you made the right choice. I, like, in, I, the, in the long run, you made the right choice. Yeah, well, I had, I had a Mega Drive, so, I mean, history has that, said that. That's also the right choice. I don't know what... <laughs> yeah. I, I think differently these days, but at the time, yeah, I definitely no, was of the, I... the mind that, like, you know... Um, what, what is the, the, the old saying that... Um, uh, Sega Basically, does... Genesis does what Nintendo don't. don't. Yeah. Oh, the bridge yeah. is over there. We need to go back that way. Yeah, we actually need to. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. But yeah, I. So I never had a Saturn, and mm -hmm. the the thing that I remember most is when when the Saturn first came out, because the the Saturn came out like I think four months before the the PlayStation did. Yeah. And the thing that I always remember is seeing the kiosk in the shop. And Clockwork Knight. Oh played. yeah, yeah. And whenever I think about the Saturn, I think about that game. That's fair. I had that on a demo disc uh, yeah. on on my Saturn when I was a kid. Uh, so, and I always wanted it because I, I I was having fun playing it. 
uh, but nowadays it is a very mediocre platform. And it doesn't look great. No, it hasn't. It hasn't aged. Uh oh. Uh oh. What happened? Are you all right? Flick, you had I one did. job. <laughs> yeah, he did. The Imperials, they suddenly. I'm sorry, Lady Odessa. My God. Hey, Odessa! Let's go after them, young master. Nah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god, I really can't <laughs> let you stay! <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a bad time! Oh! oh I, I, <laughs> and then I you can save. save the game, though! I can't yeah. stay. I can't that's, rest. That's really funny. That's good, I like that. I wonder if that's one of those mo uh, moments where, like, you know, the, the normal text isn't that, and the translation team has gone, well, this doesn't make sense. Let's make Yeah, this doesn't that, make sense. Yeah. Let, let's make something up that actually... Wait, you're not supposed to be here. Uh-oh. Oh, wow, they put on their armor very quickly. They do. They... Yeah. They but, yeah. Some... Clockwork Knight, not a not a great first impression. I'll... No. I'll uh, I can concede that. So whenever uh, I think about the Saturn graphics, I don't think of things like the well-respected, like I don't know, Panzer Dragoon and things like that. I think yeah, a lot of the night. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the 2D games. It it did 2D games pretty well. Um, yeah. So, is it Guardian Heroes that? Yeah, they, yeah. That had like eight the, player. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. It was like it was, uh, it was a treasure beat 'em up, and yeah. Treasure is awesome. Great company. Uh, yeah. They. They like split off from Konami because they were tired of doing sequels. And so when they became Treasure, they were like, oh, we're never doing sequels. And they have, but like a lot of what they're known for is like Gunstar Heroes and like Mischief Makers for the N64 and like just really fun stuff like that. It's funny um, you should mention like them refusing to do sequels. And I, all I can think about when you say that is um, what's his face and uh, Metal Gear Solid. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Kojima. Yeah, talking about, uh, Hideo Kojima. Yeah. Yeah. Because like he, he's, he's always like, like no more sequels, and then it's like, all right, I guess I'll do three more. Yeah. 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 So. Well, I, uh, I don't blame I, them. I, I feel like we could take his word for it this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did Did you play Death Stranding, by the way? I, I didn't play Death Stranding. Um, it. Really didn't look like my kind of my kind of thing. I was like, I watched I watched my friends play it and and stuff like that, and I was like, this is this is kind of I, I don't know. It doesn't really seem like it's for me. So the idea of a video game in my mind is to is the escapism uh, yeah. aspect of it. I do that as my job. I am a delivery guy. Why yeah, would I yeah. want to spend my free time doing the same thing I do day after day? Being a mailman, except now I have to carry everything, and I just have to run around and, and <laughs> kind of play a... Uh, I don't know if you ever played Yoshi's Story, but there were these little mini-games in Yoshi's Story where you'd have to hold up a bunch of crates and try to prevent them from tumbling over. Uh, by yeah. by balancing yourself out, and I was like, "That's that's what Death Stranding reminded me of." Ah! What was that? I'm pretty sure it was Odessa screaming. Let's hurry. Okay. More dudes quickly getting changed. Yeah. I, yeah, they're like they're like putting on their their armor, and then they look over there and they're like, "Get him!" So there was a, another thing with me saying like the McDoll Q um, earlier. Uh, the, mm -hmm. the person who said that, I, I'm, I'm guessing they're a British person because uh, they also wanted Q. me to name because yeah. you get to name the castle in this. The oh, okay. Headquarters. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and they wanted me to name it the Job Center, which I, I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm right, sure. right, because because of the the reference. Yeah, we don't have that, but you did explain it in the first one, and so uh, yeah, I uh, yeah. Uh oh. Oh no, they got her. 
You alright, Odessa? Okay. Yes, I'm just laying down <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> you just like poke with a stick. <laughs> Come. You can come out now. We're here. Oh. <laughs> it just bursts out of her. Jesus. Quickly. You must run. Uh, okay. Oh! Lady Odessa, you're bleeding. I've noticed. Yeah. Odessa. What have you done without you with the Liberation Army? I'm not dead yet. <laughs> Don't talk oh, to me like that. Oh, oh, poor Odessa. I can't believe she's gone. I'm I'm actually okay. Yeah. I'm getting better. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry, Victor. It appears I've chosen to be a woman rather than commander of the Liberation Army. What? <laughs> Kind they of made a weird a line. They yeah, made a they choice. did. They sure did. Yeah. I couldn't let that child die. I'm a failure as a leader. Wow. Odessa, I chi you could chill. Wow, that. I don't know if that would fly today. You know, if no, were it certainly like, wouldn't. I chose to die because I'm a woman. Yeah. Don't talk, Odessa. You'll reopen your wound. McDole, will you come here? Oh, I don't get a choice. I have two requests. Two? Gra Greedy. Grab a grab a pen. <laughs> First, give this earring to a character called Matthew in the village of Seika. Stop it, Odessa. I don't want to hear any final requests. Victor, thank you, but I know the end is near. I have no more lines in my script. I read ahead. McDull, take it. Earring received. Great. Okay. All right. Is that put this in character? with the rest of them. My other request. Please, throw my body into the s s gross sewery stream there. I'm poisoning the well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? But why? I, I can't do such a horrible thing. It's unsanitary. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. It's my last wish. You have to do it. Please, McDole. If I go down, I'm taking this town with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no! No, that's, that's unreasonable. We'll take the <laughs> earring, but no, we're not going to throw her body in the... It's gross. <laughs> uh, I, I really, really want to say I can't. Yeah, say it! <laughs> <Okay>. Like... <laughs> He's right, Odessa. <laughs> Why do you ask such a thing? It's because they can't know that she's dead, right? Yeah. But we can do that if we just oh, bury her. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, we could just bury her, though. If the Liberation forces find out I'm dead, the movement will lose faith and die. Oh, you know, do you not think people will start to wonder where she is, though? Yeah. Well, we haven't seen Odessa in, like, weeks. Where is she? Oh, she's... That's why you must keep my death a secret. We can keep your death a secret. We're just not going to poison this town in the meantime. <laughs> Tiny newborn hope must be kept alive. Let's, no! <laughs> let's follow through and see what happens if you just go, I can't. Look, McDole, <laughs> this is blood. My blood. <laughs> yeah, and we don't want to get it in the water! <laughs> you are not aware of it. But a lot more blood is being shed by the innocent. At the hands of the Imperial government. You must put an end to it. Even if I die. No, I'm on board with that! 
<laughs> I get that. If my hopes remain alive, I can be proud of my life, my blood. No! I want to see where this goes. I want to see where this yeah. goes. All right, Odessa, I'll do it. Jeez. <laughs> Just to meet the story along. Yeah. Oh my God. All right, Odessa, I'll do it. Thank you, Victor. You're crying for me. I'm really not. No, I'm actually pretty upset with you right now, if I'm being honest. If you ever see Flick again... <laughs> Ask him why he left this post. Yeah. <laughs> Ask him what the f***, bro. <laughs> Oh, whoops. It's fine, I'll bleep it out. Yeah. I'll bleep it out, it's fine. Tell him that his kindness always saw me through hard times. Well, it appears the end is near. Before I go, oh, sorry, I got a bit more in me. McDoll, I hope you're able to see the free world that I was never able to. Oh, guilt trip much? My yeah, God. come on, give me a break. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Odessa. Now we're going to see it. Are we going to see, like, the body just floating the down just... the river? Are we loading? Oh, we don't get to see them. Yeah. Okay. I know. Oh, and they've replaced the, the person that stands behind the counter. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> well, I suppose we should go to Seika. Yeah, that was, that was a thing. Yeah. <laughs> everyone, everyone has a formative trauma together. <laughs> Let's... Let's go. Uh, yeah, let uh, yes, and find this fellow Matthew. But to get to Seika, we have to pass through the fortress of Quaba. The fortress of Quaba. That's uh, gonna be tough, but uh, we'll give it a try. Right. All right. I've been enjoying. I, I just took a quick look at the time, by the way. We we yeah. got over a slight bit, but that, I think that's because I was enjoying myself. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. Yeah, that that was a thing. Uh, yeah, I knew Odessa was dying, but I'd forgotten like how like weird it is. <laughs> how weird the the text is, and yeah, throw my body in the river. <laughs> throw me in the river, in the sewer. You know yeah. where the water is. Yeah. Make sure nobody can drink from this ever again. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was them, a thing. Let them find me months from now when when everything oh. smells bad and, and I'm all the water tastes funny. Uh, and on that note, I guess we're, we're coming to an end, yeah. to an end of this episode. Uh, thank you yeah. for joining me, Austin. It's been fun. Yeah. Yeah, this is super fun. I'm yeah. happy to do it. Great. So uh, we'll see everybody next time, I guess. Hope you've yeah. enjoyed. See you later. Yeah, have a good night. Ciao.